Thank you, Sonia Schott. Um, there is not a secret that the cooperation with Venezuela has been in, in a standby or freeze point. What will be the next or the new approach try to, to, to get uh, again the past relation or a new relation with Venezuela in terms of uh, drug trafficking cooperation? Thank you. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I, I think that uh, Venezuela represents a significant challenge in terms of drug control and one about which we are greatly concerned uh, as we uh, look at the um, trafficking routes uh, based on uh, information that's provided by radar tracks. Uh, we see a significant exodus of uh, suspicious uh, radar tracks from the area of uh, western Venezuela, uh, north into Hispaniola, uh, and uh, to other locations as well, uh, particularly in, uh, into Central America. It's an issue that uh, we would like to address more effectively. Um, the conversations thus far have not been terribly productive. Uh, but uh, as you, uh, but Venezuela is a member of CCAD. Uh, there is uh, always an opportunity to use uh, multilateral mechanisms uh, where uh, others might not be as uh, as productive. And so we're certainly open to seeking to address this issue. Uh, but we uh, we have not uh, yet found uh, this dialogue to uh, have borne much fruit. Anyone else? Yeah. Hi, Rosalba Ruiz with Voice of America. <laughs> and my question is: um, Will the approach that the U.S. Uh, take? as a leader of CCAD this year. Does that reflect the approach they're taking here in, in the U.S.? In, with respect to? To drug control. Um, I, I think that it will largely reflect, as, uh, as, um, uh, as Tom was mentioning, the new approach of uh, the new administration to a, an emphasis on, as the Secretary General mentioned, shared responsibility and also a broader look at how we might both domestically and in our assistance programs uh, have a greater emphasis on prevention, treatment, rehabilitation programs. I don't know, since you were drafting the new Maybe strategy, perhaps you might want to say something about that as well. say a, a word. Um, we see this as a new opportunity. Again, I think it's quite important to say that we're all in this together. As near as I can tell, we're all drug-consuming countries. We're all drug-transit countries. We're all drug-producing countries. We all have drug problems. Um, the United States has done, since um, we've been the largest uh, uh, consumer, the largest market, um, we have done about 85 to 90 percent of all the research over the last 20 years in alcohol and drug abuse um, methods uh, to, to prevent, intervene, and treat. We are very happy to share those methods. Um, and the conversations we've had um, uh, suggest that that's not only going to be possible, it may be welcome. And it's that kind of spirit of being in it together and sharing what, if we have something of value and it's of use, let's share it and let's all use it. Uh, Andy Hi, from Profil, Argentina. I will make the question in English so they understand. Uh, in Argentina, four months ago, the Supreme Court of Justice made a change related to drug possession. If you possess a certain amount of drug, you are not guilty for any federal charge. Only you are charged if you are in traffic. When the press or the public read the arguments of the court, the court said that this will be in favor of uh, the drug abuse. What's your opinion on that? We have to change the legal system, so go in that way in, in order to, to decrease drug, drug consumption? Can I, can I say something? Uh, 
yo voy a hacer una cosa en español primero después maybe you can say something later I don't think that really there's a trend in the hemisphere today I'm, I'm not talking about uh, the, the academic research or the other in the governments or in congresses to uh, to legalize drugs that's the first thing I should say you have, don't have to confuse the discussion which is of course always valid reasonable to between people who think that drugs should be legal and some trends in, in, the, in the region, especially what you have just mentioned, that um, people possessing some small amounts of drugs are sometimes uh, not punished and mostly referred to drug treatment. You have to go to drug treatment, which is more or less what we are also doing here. And whether they can recover or not, uh, I think that's, uh, that's basically because uh, we, we want to concentrate, we, many countries want to concentrate uh, mainly on the, on the, the dealers, the traffickers, etc., and treat uh, people who are addicted to drugs as addicts, as, well, as ill, as sick, as, as, as uh, uh, now I'll change to Spanish. Uh, yo creo que estamos de acuerdo todos en las bases de la política, de golpear a los narcotraficantes, proteger a los inocentes y tratar eh, médicamente a los... Eh, a los, que han, a, los que, a los que están enfermos, ¿no? No creo que haya un cambio muy grande. Es cierto que en algunos países se trata de, 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 de reducir pena o de despenalizar, si se quiere, no, no legitimar, no legalizar el uso o tráfico de drogas, sino despenalizar los delitos muy menores. No mandar a la cárcel a los primeros, a los, a los que ofenden por primera vez o a los, que, a los que provocan por primera vez delitos menores ligados al tráfico de drogas. ¿verdad? o el consumo de drogas. Yo, yo pienso que eso es una sana política, que a, a, apunta más en la dirección de lo fundamental, pero que no debe ser confundida con el tema de legalización de drogas, en los cuales no sabemos que ningún país, ni ningún congreso, ni ninguna corte esté, esté involucrada. No, 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 pero en general no están todos, pero eso ha ocurrido en México, usted lo va a tener en Argentina, en Chile hace tiempo la posesión menor de droga también fue... Fue, fue, fue despenalizada, pero no, no hay que confundir con el gran tema de la, de la legalización que algunos plantean. Gracias.